see, we're in a time where we have talked about people so much that the enemy has crept in and is coming after the very faith that we have once held dear. And Jude steps in and says, brethren, I need to find some saints who will fight for this. That devil, you ain't taking this book. The word of God has been handed to our generation. And if we're not careful, we are letting the enemy pry this book right out of our hands. And I am not talking about the world. They ain't ever had this book in their hands. I'm talking about the church. That if we're not careful, we're going to lose what this book says, being persuaded by people who are used by the enemy to refute things that have been true for over 2,000 years. And so it's time for the church to roll up their sleeves and fight. That's my word for you today. I came to start a fight. No, this is not about you. This is about the faith today. This is about standing up. So now the enemy can't steal the faith because the faith is undisputed. It's undefeated. He, he can't steal it because the book is infallible. Jesus says heaven and earth will pass away before one jot, one tittle from this book. I'm not worried about the enemy taking this book. So he can't steal the faith because the word of God stands from age to age. But he can take it right out your heart. And the first place you got to contend for this is in the borders of your own heart. He says, because if you're not careful, men will creep in and actually preach this right out of you. And we are there. We are there. We are there. We are right there where people who used to be sound in the faith have lost their minds. And so let me pause and give you a little a little evidence and backup of this. Something very disturbing was just released in May. I want you to go home and Google this. Look it up for yourself so that you don't take my word for it. It is the results taken by George Barna, who is one of the most renowned researchers. I call him the apostle of research to the body of Christ who just released 2022 their study on worldview inventory. It is the 2022 study on worldview inventory. And so just Google that when you go home. Just 2020 George Barna worldview inventory. And what you will find is some alarming statistics that they just released in May of 2022. Now, his assignment was to focus in these parts of worldviews. His assignment was to focus on the church. They were studying all types of worldviews. But George Barna, they wanted to focus in on the church. What is the church? What are the pastors? Let's survey the worldview of men and women of God. And this is what he found out. A new nationwide survey of America's Christian pastors shows that the majority of pastors lack a biblical worldview. In fact, just slightly more than a third, 37% of all pastors actually possess 
a biblical worldview. 37%. A majority, 62%, hold a hybrid worldview known as syncretism. Don't forget that word. Don't ever forget that word after today. Syncretism. And these shocking findings are in part of the American worldview inventory. And what he concluded in this latest report is that basically only 37% of pastors preaching in pulpits today in America have what is called a biblical worldview. 30 Seven percent have a biblical worldview. The other 63 percent have a different kind of worldview. It is this thing called syncretism. Syncretism. Now, what does this mean? This means syncretism is an amalgamation of different types of worldviews, cultures, and belief systems. In other words, what George Borna found out is that only 37% of pastors today hold this book up and say this book controls everything in my mind about the way I see things and the way I respond to things and the way I behave. This book is the foundation and the only foundation to what I believe, think, and do. Only 37% of pastors said that. The other 62 said, I believe this book, but I need you to look at somebody. Come on, I don't do a lot of preacher tapping your neighbor stuff, but you're going to do it this time. Look at somebody square in the eye and tell them, you need to get your butt out the way. Tell them, you just need to get it out of the way. That's butt with one T. That's butt with one T. One T. One T. Because the other 62% hold this worldview that says, I believe the Bible and. I believe the Bible, but. In other words, there's this mixture that the majority of pastors have. It's the Bible mixed with other types of belief systems, other types of worldviews. And if it is 62% in the pulpits, <laughs> it is absolutely a crisis we are in. That people will literally fight you over the truth. We have moved to a point where people would rather defend people and offend God. We moved to the point where we, we would rather take sides with culture, we'd rather take sides with people, with family, uh-huh, with friends, with, we'd rather take sides with, with, with politicians, we'd rather take sides with entertainers. And so a lot of things have been mixed in where culture now has become biblical. And we're fighting for the faith which was once delivered to us. 
And it, it amazes me because I saw this coming for years counseling people. I would sit up in counseling sessions and they would come in with their problems and with all of their issues and I'm eagerly ready to help and I'm ready to address the situation. So I listen to him, I listen to her or just listen to the individual come in and talk about all their issues, all of their problems and then uh, I just go in my desk, pull like this out of my drawer, slap it on the desk and begin to give them chapter and verse only to watch them say I don't I already know that well now if you already know that what you doing in here then because I ain't got nothing else to give you than the book you walked into the office, not of a psychologist, but a preacher, baby. And if you walk in the office of a preacher, I can't give you nothing but the book. But we want answers everywhere else. We want to look everywhere else. We want to have itching ears to try to find something to tell us what we want to hear. And there are no answers for you or me outside of the book. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I came here to preach the book today. This is the word of the living God. And for some reason, this ain't good enough today. <laughs> 